This is Michael Canick with your Bridgeway to Success. No one likes to do it. Many managers avoid it. What is it? Holding people accountable. The most compelling reason for holding a person accountable has nothing to do with that person. It has to do with everyone else. Everyone else who is committed to helping your organization win. All those people you risk demotivating and demoralizing because they see you tolerating what shouldn't be tolerated. What they see is that you aren't committed to winning, that you lack the courage to do what it takes to win. The result? Goodbye credibility. The number two reason for holding a person accountable is because of that person. By not holding the person accountable, you send the message that everything is okay. They don't need to change. Is that the message you want to send? You can be a kind, caring, compassionate person and still hold people accountable. Compassion and accountability are not incompatible. Holding someone accountable doesn't make you a mean person. Any more than needing to be held accountable makes that person a bad person. So, where does accountability start? Look in the mirror. Have you done your part in setting your people up to succeed, not to fail? Do they have clear goals and expectations? The necessary skills, resources, and authority? Do they receive feedback, guidance, and recognition? If you answered no to any of these, then get to work. Once you've done your part, then it's fair to hold your people accountable.